I just keep hearing things about them going to change the rules, and I think that's a mistake. I think it just needs the guys need to work on their free throws and take a little bit better um, time and effort to get better at that. Yeah, I think Adam Adam Silver said that he doesn't want to change. Yeah, I don't think I don't. I, yeah, kind of and thing. then I think it changes like the whole history of the game and how it's been done. You know, I still think in the last two minutes you should be able to do it too. I mean, if you got to leave your guy on the floor who's a bad free throw shooter, then that's your choice. So, anyways. Chris, what they do defensively tonight that was effective against you guys? You know, I thought we played a first a first half that was solid. Um, right there, the last you know minute and a half, two minutes got away from us a little bit, but um, you know they they definitely do a good job. I think up top trapping that pick and roll. You see that a lot where they put a lot of pressure on Dame and CJ, and that takes away from kind of what we do, and it kind of gets us in a different position than what we're used to. But um, we got to get better at it. I mean, we just we just didn't have a good game in the second half. It was a tale of two halves. Is there an optimal time to do that strategy? Because like it was late in the game, and I think the score was fairly yeah. simple. I don't know what the optimal time is. I'm not a coach, so I just kind of do what I'm told. And that's another hard thing is the players get so upset about it on the other team. But you know, I'm not. It's not my choice. Sure. So I would I'd do it though if I was a coach. I mean, I'd, I'd do it. It would have to be like strategic, and I think that it is strategic. Um, another thing that was happening is we weren't getting capitalizing, getting those rebounds when they were coming off. So. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no worries.